Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Gotta go over some unfortunate news, even though it's understandable. Whenever a game is delisted on Steam, I don't get all too excited about it, but at least in the case of Sonic Generations getting delisted, there's some understandable aspects to it, and they're keeping it so you can kind of finesse your way into getting a copy of the game. We'll talk about it. Ideally, you know, I would just like it to be a case of the games are preserved and listed in their entirety, but uh, in this case, they're doing it the best way that they can, in my opinion. Um, I would just argue, like, why delist the game at all? Uh, obviously... Uh, Sonic Generations by Sega is getting delisted for purchased as a standalone game come September the 9th. Now, obviously, this is happening because come October, they are re uh, releasing Sonic X Shadows uh, Generations, and that game looks awesome. It looks like an incredible upgrade to uh, Sonic Generations, and Sonic Generations, by the way, already is an absolutely awesome game. Like, Sonic, when Sonic Generations came out, there were so many mid Sonic games coming out like Sonic Unleashed trash Sonic and the Black Knight trash like we could go on and on and then you would get games like a Sonic Generations like a Sonic Colors that would be quite good as well and Generations I thought was awesome but nevertheless Sonic Generations delisting FAQ learn more about the upcoming changes to Sonic Generations as no noted in the Steam community page Sonic Generations delisting FAQ can I still purchase the game at all after September the 9th Answer, on September 9th, the original version of Sonic Generations will no longer be sold on Steam as a standalone title. However, we've heard players' feedback and we're offering a new way to play the game in its original form. The original version of Sonic Generations will still be available as part of the new Sonic the Hedgehog Legacy Bundle, including other classic Sonic titles on Steam. Now... How Sonic bundles work is if you do, or how I should say how Steam game bundles work is, let's say you only want Sonic Generations for the moment being, but you own the other games. Well, the price point of that bundle will be discounted. I don't know to what rate, but that is how it works. So let's say this bundle includes, uh, it includes Sonic Generations collections and a bunch of other games. You own those bunch of other games, which we'll talk about what those games are. Sonic Generations, you will not have to pay the $60 or whatever it is that the Legacy Bundle is going to be. You'll pay a Steam decided on or Sega decided on price point. I don't know who decides the bundle price points, but you get the idea. If I had already previously purchased Sonic Generations, will I still have access to the game when it gets delisted on September the 9th? Obviously, this is the case with every delisting. Yes, players who already own the original version of Sonic Generations will still be able to download and play the game. Generally speaking, this is how it works with single-player games getting delisted. Your Transformers War for Cybertron, your Deadpools of the World, those games that have licensing agreements attached to them that get pulled from Steam if you were lucky enough and, uh, I'm jealous of all of you that have a copy of Transformers War for Cybertron on Steam. That is the game that I am missing. I have a copy of Deadpool. Don't have Transformers War for Cybertron. But um, if those games get pulled, you can still re-download those games and you can still play those games. The issue arises with games like The Crew that get delisted and then the servers shut down and th that game is online only and Ubisoft sucks and they don't want to put an offline only patch. In the case of these games that can be played offline... They will persist to be playable offline. Outside of the crew, there are instances where games get delisted because the online functionality is no longer available, but they still have a single-player campaign and still get delisted. Battlefield Bad Company 2 is one glaring example where that did happen. They didn't continue selling Bad Company 2 after the online servers were delisted because I guess they didn't want to sell you a half, like half the game and, you know... With a game like Bad Company 2, it's really more than half the game is the multiplayer. But shout out to Bad Company 2's uh, single player campaign. I thought that was still pretty decent. Uh, will I still be able to mod Sonic Generations after it has been removed? Yes, players who already own the original version of Sonic Generations will still be able to mod the game and all pre-existing mods will still work. So if you already own the game, this shouldn't be an issue to you. It just sucks when a game like this does get pulled. Um, again, these things do happen in PC gaming. And, but this is one instance where I'm just like, eh, 
It doesn't have a licensing agreement attached to it. It's really to promote Sonic X Shadows Generations, which I imagine they just don't want to cause confusion when uh, Sonic X Shadows come out. I understand why they are doing it, um, but it is what it is. Uh, not uh, incredibly excited about it, but they're doing the best they can in terms of still offering the game to people, and you can still buy it in the form of this uh, Legacy Collection, which, uh, you know, after we understand what the price points are, that is going to be uh, beneficial to people. I had, like, come to the realization that something was going on with Sonic Generations or that Sega just didn't want to continue selling this game because they actually did, like, a Sonic franchise sale recently. Uh, it was either a Sonic franchise sale or just a general Sega sale, but literally every Sonic game was on sale except for Sonic Generations. And right at that point, I was like, okay, they do not want to sell the OG Sonic Generations anymore. The thing is... Sonic X Shadow Generations is going to be $50. Sonic Generations is a 1999 game. I think Sonic X Shadow Generations is going to be absolutely worth it, but it's still nice to offer people the option, especially with Sonic X Shadow Generations. Like, that's a game that's adding a legitimate new campaign along with an upgraded release of Sonic Generations. Like, that's a sizable, sizable release where I would say... They dropped Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, for example, Ubisoft did, and it kind of just artificially juiced up the price of Assassin's Creed 3 while not upgrading the game all that much. Now, to be fair, with AC3, they did offer, like, the garbage Assassin's Creed Liberation game. That game was trash, in my opinion, but... I digress. It is what it is. I gave you guys all the news, gave you guys some examples of other instances where this could be compared to as far as games getting re-released and then getting pulled. Um... You know, you're going to get a premier version of the game still playable. You're going to get a premium version of the game still playable and still buyable uh, standalone. And Sonic Generations is still going to be offered via these legacy bundles. So I don't think it's the worst thing in the world, but wanted to give you guys a heads up on that with all the information. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Sonic Generations is great. It's priced at $19.99. You probably find it on sale somewhere and get it a much cheaper. So that might be something you want to look at. But that'll do it for me. Your thoughts down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out